just showing you an example of what you found on like, how they looking at us, how they want to kill us, man. People want to kill us. All you gotta do is uh to see how racist everybody is read uh comic boards on YouTube. When you read the news stories and all that. But you don't hear him talking like that in person though, only on only on the internet. The motherfuckers are showing their true colors now, boy, ever since your boy Trump got in there. Trump gave him the way. He really did. Hey, that, that faggot Richard Spencer is supposed to come to Ohio State University. You see that? Yep. He's suing Ohio State. He is going to win because that's free speech. Bush, remember the video we're talking about? There's going to be a new, a new world. A new you world. You see that shit? That's good enough. We will prevail. What was that motherfucker saying? Yeah, but I was back we in his, uh... Prevail. And we will prevail. Some shit like he that. He said, uh... Gonna, <laughs> he said that we gotta follow the... The law, the new world order, not follow the laws of the jungle. Right. Yeah, but the law of the land. That dude's creepy as hell. Yeah. Like he had the ugliest wife in history. He looked like a fucking vampire. Right. She looked like he bit her. He turned her into a troll. Whatever you call that. What is it called? The worker that vampires use? Oh, yeah. The, uh, uh, yeah, a goo. A goo. Right? I like on that Eddie Murphy goo. Right. <laughs> he had his nose. pray, but there's some that wants it. There's some, there's some that don't want it. Some of them, you know, he's all leave, you leave your ass out the hoop, you know? He don't give a fuck about his own people, man. He don't get left, he don't care about it. Where we at, man? Where we going? Where we headed? In the scriptures here, huh? Oh, yeah. You know what? We're going to get this way. I'm sure the spirit will take you back to this. I don't like being known. Like when um, Esau and Jacob, you know how he wanted to kill Jacob? <laughs> Egypt, the first chapter of Exodus 1. The Egyptians, you know yeah. how they want to come after us, man. Fuck these devils, man. And these fucking two thirds that, that, uh, that are fucking asleep and numb to the devil. Fucking numb to the devil. They're numb. Exodus one. Exodus one. Ain't nothing but meat in there. Exodus one eight. And he rose up a new king over Egypt, which knew not Joseph. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Ah, oh, that's what the government's saying today. They say there's too many Israelites. They ain't gonna call you Israelites. They can give you other names like minorities. Like Nick. Yeah. Well, you know, the official word, African-American, Hispanic, you know, whatever, you know what I mean? You motherfuckers better wake up, man. Y'all, those of y'all that are asleep, man, y'all better wake the fuck up, man. You know? Yep. It's high time you wake up, because we ain't got a whole lot of time left anyway. Right. You got time to be bullshit. Is that Romans 12? Yeah, Romans 11. Romans 11. I can get there. I'm always off this. I'll be the same way, bro. <laughs> Can't get them all in, At least we get the precepts. Let me help Hey, the Lord bless us with that technology. Hey, play on band. As the older I get, the more I forget. You know what I mean? Right. You be dementia. Yeah, you get that <laughs> dementia. I got suffer from dementia. For real. For real. But you gonna continue reading? Yeah. He, he already quoted anyway. It's yeah, yeah. Time. It is high time. Wake up out of sleep for you. What's the same for you? Salvation is nearer than what you believe, or yep. when you believe, something like that. And that salvation is the Lord is literally coming, man. When the Lord comes, He's coming with death and destruction. You hear me? Y'all hear me? The Lord get, coming with death and destruction. We get that Revelation 16. Right. So if you're gonna get caught out there being a goddamn fool, being part of that black conscious community, you know, 
Rasta Wayman. What's the way? What's the, what's the Rasta fuck? You know, y'all Israelites being Rastafarians. You know, y'all Israelites that think y'all um, Africans. Hey, I got a quick precept for that too. <laughs> Better wake up out of sleep. Revelation 16 and 15. This is red letter. It says, Behold. Hold on, wait up, let's go by. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments. Right, and that garment is known that you're an Israelite. Yep. You're an Israelite. The Lord ain't come to grave to save niggas. The Lord ain't come to save African Americans. What's the other one you just said? The Lord ain't come to save uh, minorities. Yeah, minorities. He's coming to save Israelites. The Israelites that have that mark in their head, that mind. Yep. It's not a mark that somebody walk up to your ass and, and put a black marker on your ass. It's not the mark. That's not a mark. Well, that is a mark. <laughs> but that's not what it's talking about. You know? It's the mark that you know and that you are an Israelite. A brother. Well, knowing the truth, too. Knowing the name of the Lord. You got to know the name of the Lord. You got to know the names. Uh, God, uh, God's name is not God. It's your Howard. Hey, hey, get on. I can't find about this one. 39 and 40. Yeah. Let me read the rest of this real quick. There's more to it. Behold, I come as a thief. Meaning what? A thief ain't going to tell you when he's coming. Send you a text yeah, the thief going to give you a text. Yeah, send you a text. Like, I'm on my way to take your TV. Right. No, nah, he going to come when you least expect it. While you asleep at the wheel. You know what I mean? You out there lollygagging around. What's up, brother? You know, a thief going to sneak through that window. Window. I can't even talk. Oh, yeah, he going to get you. There's keys to this thing, man. Yep. And there's simple keys. Knowing the name and knowing you initial. Like, that's a beautiful beginning. That's how we came into this. Yo, you gotta know the name. Right. We found out we were Israelites, so we, we, we took it a step further. Hey, did not the Lord say, uh, whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved? There you go. Yeah. And so calling on sweet Jeebus ain't gonna save you. Because the Lord's name is not Jesus. The Lord's name is Yahweh It's a simple, man. It's simple. Uh, I forget what he said. We're giving your brothers milk right now. Milk is when you can take milk down simple, easy, you know? You can swallow milk. A baby ain't gonna take it. A steak and cut that motherfucker up and chew it. First of all, that baby ain't got no teeth. I'll take plenty of that one. First of all, that baby got that baby gotta have milk. No, I don't smoke that. I don't smoke that. Hey, let me finish. I got it right. I didn't get it finished though. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garment, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. So if you ain't out here following, you know, the statutes of the Lord. Following the ways of the Lord, you you gonna be caught out there naked. You know what I mean? Be caught out there with, and, and everybody gonna see your shame. And that shame is that destruction. You don't wanna be caught out there naked, man. Naked is meaning you don't have no covering. No covering. No protection. Yep. And the Lord, how about some you outside? That's our covering. Yep. That's our blanket. That's our armor. That's our garment. You know what I mean? That's right. Through the Spirit, we receive His name. Oh, we gotta get back to the echo. You started and we didn't finish it. Okay. She just doing that because it's raining. <laughs> No, she just got her hair done. Oh, yeah. She, she don't want to fuck the hair up. All the weave will fall out. That's all the weave. We're going back to the edge. Oh, he got this proverb real quick. Yeah. 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 What is Proverbs 31? Four. Oh, 30 and 4, yeah. Proverbs 30 and 4. Who has ascended up into the heavens or descended? Oh, that's a good point because we saying, uh, the, you know, the Lord's coming like a thief in the night when you least expect it. But this, what this Proverbs said, who has ascended into heaven or descended? That, that, that's key because that's how the Lord's coming back to the earth. He's coming out to the heavens in them chariots, so called UFOs. That's how the Lord's making his return. And, he needs, and when he's coming, he's coming like a thief in the night. When everybody least expects it, that's when the Lord gonna make his comeback. Get your email, bro. No, the Lord is right. Yeah, he ain't sending out no emails, no texts, giving no warning. He get, actually, he is, we're warning you right now. This is the warning. Go ahead. Who has gathered the wind in his fist? Who has bound the waters in a garment? Who has established all the ends of the earth? What is his name and what is his son's name? If thou could tell. If you could tell. Right. 
So what's the Lord's name? What's God's name? The God's name is not Yahweh. It's not uh, Jehovah. Did y'all see that video I put up uh, last week? I put up a video where there's a PhD, a biblical scholar. He came out, he said there's no way. It, he said it's impossible for God's name to be Yahweh. And he went and he broke it down and he says that has to be Yahweh. He said, he said it's the only thing that, that makes sense. And that, that, I mean, since the people of the world, they won't believe you unless you got a PhD. You know what I mean? You went to college. But you got some uh, PhD, biblical scholar, even he confirms what we said. The guy's name is Yahweh. They search diligently. They do, they search. Yeah, they search. Uh, I got another one quick. This is Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. So a lot of people don't never find out the name of the Lord. That, that means they ain't righteous. What's that? The wind? It ain't raining anymore. Oh, yeah. I'm about to hang my phone. Where'd you find them umbrellas at? Yeah, especially because it's just going to break anyway. You get that one gust of winds, all it takes is out of there. Yeah, that's what. Bro, I had that big ass golf umbrella. It's, they still don't last. You got get some shit made out of steel. What that? Oh, the white one? Oh, that was, that was one of my uh, golf umbrellas. Hey, I read that back from the top again. Just to get, you know, make, make more sense. Exodus 1 and 8. Now there rose up a new king over Egypt, which knew not Joseph. He said to his people, Behold, the, the people of the children of Israel more and mighty than we. Come on, let us go argue with them. He said, uh, He said, Multiply. Come to pass that when they fallen out in war, they also join also to, uh, they join also to our enemies to fight against us, so get them out of the land. Therefore, did, did they not bring in a bunch of nations, man? That put over us, I that own all these carryouts and subways and shit like that. You know, that's just an example of that, man. That's because they don't they look at us like we're cockroaches. Yep. They treat you as such too. The cockroaches. Therefore they did set up the attachment to sick them with the burdens, the burdens and they built for Pharaoh, Travis City, Bethlehem and Ramsey. But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew. Hey, that's the same thing in America. Jake is getting afflicted like hell out here. They ain't stopping them from uh, having sex with all kind of women and making babies. Did I say they say too that when you're more poor and you're, you know, that's the only thing that comforts you. One of the things is you're having a lot of sex. What else you gonna do? You can't afford to do shit else. But Jake is multiplying like crazy out here. They hate it. That's why they had them Planned Parenthood set up everywhere. But now they got a backlash against it. They defunding it. That's because people like us is out here. So, Teaching this truth. That's crazy. Yes, yeah, so all these women, they getting all these abortions and all that. That's nasty, man. Right. But it says those treasure cities, your yep. suburbs, the cities where you ain't allowed to go. Oh, yeah. Your treasure cities, man. When you ain't, let's see you driving around a, uh, up in Dublin mm -hmm. or driving around through Bexley for too long. Y'all ever, ever been to, um, we used to build houses at uh, Dublin? Pow. I used to work in Pow all the time. Yeah, Pow. Go there, man. Go down there and check it out. We gotta take a ride, man. You, a, you ain't gonna see no trash nowhere. Up man. in Delaware County and all that? That's crazy, man. That's the fastest growing part of the whole yep. city. Delaware. Yep. Delaware County? Yeah. That's, That's how you built a new mall down there. Because there must be a bunch of population down man, there. Man, the traffic is crazy down yep. there. Sure is. Ain't no trash nowhere down there, motherfucker. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. You go there. through Jake's neighborhood, boy. It's a goddamn. It look, man. I was walking through the bottoms the other day. I was like, we are in hell. This is hell. It looked like a post-apocalyptic fucking wasteland. I thought I was in the Mad Max movie. That's what these neighborhoods are like. We like real life Mad Max movies out here. Shit, it's crazy. They wonder why shit flow. They wonder why your neighborhood flow. Because all their trash is in the Oh, that too, yeah. Jake is a filthy animal anyway. Yeah, he just 
They enjoy the gutter. They enjoy the ghetto. They be repping their hood. Right, how do they get rid of the trash? In the trash. They burn that shit up. Yeah, burn it. Fire. You got call the trash man. That's the cure to all fire. Fire. Hey, a fire, boy. Cure. Hell, when you sick, you your body is on fire, man. It is. <laughs> that fire is that is flushing that shit out your way. Yeah, that's, crazy shit. that's true. That you, you know, that's, that's why I, I've been sick. Like help sweat and help get rid of sickness. That's what it. That's what it is. You know, you get hot. You go work out. You may not like it, but that's how your body is helping you. you. May not feel good. You sweat out all the toxins from that heat. You got more to that. Uh, Egyptians made the children of Israel to serve the bigger and made their lives better with hard bondage, mortar and brick. Oh, they're mortar and brick. So, so the, like America is uh, spiritually known as Egypt, spiritually known as Rome, Babylon, it's called Great Babylon. Then that's why you look on the back of a dollar bill, there's an Egyptian pyramid. That's because they follow the ways of the Egyptians. They worship the gods of the Egyptians in secret, make sacrifice to them, sacrifice children to them. And the Egyptians were heathens. They're they're fucking heathen, filthy heathens. That's why they go to get an African scare. Yeah. yeah, that's why they teach that. They got the Afrocentric school where they teach us you came from Egypt and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Who's in there? Who the school? Israelites. But who set up the school? Who created the school? Esau. Esau, the devil. With the help of the nigga woman. <laughs> that was the greatest lie ever told in America. Right. Telling black people they, they came from Egypt. Hotel, son. Pyramids. Yeah, we built them pyramids just like these reefs, man. We were slaves. We were slaves, just like we built America. Go to them motherfucking uh, construction sites and see who you see. Jake. 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 All the city workers are Israelite. Esau ain't about to be out here working. Hell, Hell no. Nah. Hell <laughs> no. You know, Ish, Ish, uh, Ishikar can't wait to get down to the construction site. Hey, look yeah. at all. Hey, let's can't examine wait. all the. Look at all the heathen nations, though. Look at the East Indians, they don't work. What kind of hard manual labor they doing? None. Look at the Ishmaelites, the Arabs, what kind of work they doing in America? None. All they do is work at carryouts. That's like the, they are one trick pony. They, they just work at carryouts. They, they, they don't do no kind of physical labor. The so-called Jew, they brag about not working. He, he caught me on guard the other day too. What's that? When we left camp, we stopped at the carryout. And you asked about, uh, we was talking, we were schooling these Arabs, right? Talking about the nations. And, and Syria is a whole different nation too. The people in Syria is his home, you know. There's a lot of Jason. This is Syria. our time. I done got rusty on the nation. That's why I was fucked up when you said that. But we were still focusing on them. Oh yeah, Syria was a rhyme. Yeah. Syria. Because you asked me. You don't remember though, do you? <laughs> right. See, Iran. Right, you said it Iran. It's still a nation like in Syria. Syria as a shore. Yeah, you got a shore, then you Syria. got a Syria and a Syria. Right. 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 All the nations. Like, right. Yeah, you got a Ram, a shore. 18 of them, right. 18 of them, man. That's bad, man. That's a whole lot of slaves, man. That's a whole lot of slaves to take care of that big ass 12 tribe. That's going to be multiplied. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because they're going to be multiplying too under captivity, man. Hell yeah. Which is going to bring pressure to them. Man, they're going to be, uh, they gonna be doing, doing okay too, though. The Esau is the one that's going to catch the most hell. All these other heathen nations, they're going to be slaves, but uh, they're going to get their fair shake in the kingdom. Because in the kingdom, you're not going to have Esau uh, invading their countries no more, stealing their resources. They're going to have their blessing, they're going to have their uh, allotted land. Where they can go about, but they're gonna follow the laws of the Lord. What did you say? Oh, let me just get it real quick. Hey, uh, get that Isaiah too. Let me get this real quick. It gives people a perspective where we're going with this, man. What's up? Yeah, oh, yeah sure do. Take sure that, don't you? That's all you? Well, yeah. You know what? If y'all don't want it, I'll take it, man. If y'all don't want it, man, I'll take it, man. Well, she ain't, she got that beautiful hair. Really she got that beautiful hair. Really? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Y'all don't want to outtake it. I know, Chris. 
Hold on. Check this out. Because in the kingdom, uh, yeah, all nations are going to follow the laws of the Bible in the kingdom. Ain't going to be no more. Uh, we got the Muslims over here, the Christians over there. Ain't going to be none of that. What's up, bro? Hey. What you doing, you doing? Are you still in my cup? Oh, you want some more? You got to pay me some cash for that. <laughs> Oh, he's keeping the place clean. He's a good citizen. Good American. Good Amer you're a great American. Great you American. Good work. Great American. Help keep this country clean. You're help making America great again. <laughs> you're doing his part. Right, right, right. Here we go. This is Genesis 27 and 38. It says, And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou the one blessing my father? Bless me, even me so. Right, because, uh, sorry. But all the nations got their blessing. Like, Israel's blessing that we, we would rule all nations with a rod of iron. That's our blessing. Now, this is Esau's blessing. Bless me, even me also, O oh my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. And by thy sword shall thou live. Right, because Esau lives by the sword. The murder. That's why you see America going around invading all these countries, killing people. They rule by the sword. They don't rule through uh, peace and love. America don't rule through peace and love. They rule through deceit, deception, sure murder, Death and robbery. Death and destruction. Oh, he just had to come out here to get on camera. He just had to do it. <laughs> they just can't help themselves. I guess they're, uh, I mean, that's their, that's their works, you know? A silly ass comment. And, and listen, and Isaac, his father, hey, answered that wasn't a silly ass and, be, and said, Behold, and, and, and said unto him, saw. Behold, okay. thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth, and of the dew of heaven from above, and by thy sword shalt thou live, and shalt serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass, when thou shalt have the dominion, that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. And that's us, you know. You saw that that yoke on that, you're going to break it right off. And that's who uh, you see. Uh, you know, Esau is likened up to the eagle, too. If you look at the Marine Corps logo, they got that eagle perched on top of the world. You know what I mean? That's part of their symbolism, showing you that they, they rule the earth through the sword. Who are you? Who are you? Hey, that's why they keep, that's why they go, they can go into North Korea any moment. You see uh, 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 Abe, the president of uh, Japan, he got reelected, right? So uh, they about to change the constitution. Now North Korea is afraid that uh, Japan is going to invade Korea. And they make sure of that. Yeah, they, they, they go. They, they make sure that they'll come back here. Let me get Romans 13 and 3. For rulers are not dared to good works, but to the evil. Would thou then not be afraid of the power? Do not which is good, and thou shalt have praise in the same. Well, it came out like, uh, right, you, the president, he's a, he's a damn devil. I don't normally like Trump. But you see that with that thing about Harvey Weinstein that came out, right? Now, Harvey Weinstein, he done came out, he been raping everybody in Hollywood. If you was in any of his movies, that means you sucked his dick. Man and woman. Man and woman, okay? And a lot of people ain't came out because they don't want to know, people, other people to know. Yeah, right. But he, by Harvey Weinstein on what? Miramax Studios. That's one of the top movie studios. Aaron, he was raping the hell out of everybody. But then you see, uh, when you uh, rewind the footage, you look at, uh, like Michelle Obama, there's video of her giving a speech saying Harvey Weinstein was such a beautiful man. No, she said he was a beautiful human being because she was engaged in the